Check this out. I enter my question and this smart AI based chatbot answers to my question based on the content on my website. It replies in a conversational way, like a real person, which means my agents can focus on the tackling of the trickier stuff. And it understands the conversation context, which makes it even more awesome. Setting it up takes only a couple of minutes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And the service we're going to use today is called Tidio, the one you see on the screen right now. It allows you to combine AI and human support. And with the help of the chatbot, you can also generate leads. Now you're wondering how much does it cost? Let's take a look at the pricing here. As you see, there is a free plan, starter plan, communicator plan, and chatbots plan. The prices are here, and those are the official prices. But if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 20% discount for you. Since I've already created a video about how to create a chat box and how to create an account, then I'm going to skip this part and log in and show you how to set up the Lyra chatbot. If you log in, then this is what you see. Take a look at the settings. You can customize the appearance. If you open up your inbox, then you see all the live conversation over here. But we are interested in the chatbot, so let's go to the chatbot, this one here. And let's activate Lyra the Magician. There is a button, click on it. There is information about the restrictions, accept it. And now you have two options, whether to import frequently asked questions from your website or create from scratch. Why do you need it? You need it because Lyra will use that knowledge to answer visitor questions. I have set up this frequently asked questions page here and I'm going to copy the URL, import it here. Don't worry, I can add and edit answers later. But in order to demonstrate how to use the importing option, I'm going to use this one here. So let's import. It took a couple of seconds to import all the information. And now I can test it. This is a chatbot simulator here. So let's test whether it works. And let's ask something related to this page here. For example, let's ask about uh, support. How long can I get updates after I cancel my subscription? It's thinking for a second. And now it says you will get support and updates for one year and so on. Pay attention that it's not a copy paste text from the answer on my site but it generates correct answer sounding more like a human. And if I ask something else, for example, is it easy to cancel my subscription? Then the Lyra knows that this question is related to the previous one and hence the answer is also related to it. Once again, the answer is straight to point. And as you see, the original answer is here. How to cancel your subscription, log in, navigate, click on the license and so on. Lyro summarizes it in a simple way and it's done. Now what happens if I ask something that Lyro doesn't know? For example, can I get a discount for the first purchase? Then the answer is, forgive me, I do not have an answer to that question in my data banks. Can you try rephrasing or ask an alternative question? And there is also an option to redirect me to the person on the support team. Let's see what happens if I click here. Talk to a person, absolutely, I'm transferring you to a human right away. And after that, if you go to the inbox, there is an unassigned, you'll see all the conversation here and you can join and pick it up. Really easy. Now let's go back one more time and open up the Lyra settings. As you see, there is data sources here. If you open it up, then you'll see all the questions that were imported, these here. If I would like to add my own question, then just click here, enter a question, for example, can I get a discount? And the answer, unfortunately, at the moment, we don't offer any discounts. Let's save it. If I want to edit this question here, then I just can click on it and it opens up. I can edit it and save it. Under the three dots, there is also edit menu and delete menu. Can't get any easier than that, isn't it? Now, let's go back to the Lyro. Let's open up the playground once more, reset test, and let's see whether it knows the answer to the discount related question. Enter the question. And as you see, Lyro already knows the answer. Awesome. Now let's go back to the configuration. If you want to activate it on your site, then just click on activate Lyro or click it here. Couple of other options, what to do during the handoff. 
First option, what to do when the operators are online, whether to transfer to the operator or keep the conversation. Next, when the operators are offline, what to do? The same options here. Nothing else to configure. Under the analytics, you'll see all the answered unanswered questions, how many times it's transferred to operator. And under the inbox, if you take a look at the transferred conversations, then you'll see what are the questions that are not answered. And you can add them to the Lyra questions like I did a minute ago. Now this was about the Lyra. Now briefly, let's take a look how to set up the chatbot. Open up chatbots menu here. And here you'll see a bunch of options here. And if you scroll down, you'll see also a bunch of ready-made templates for you. You can browse templates by the type. For example, if you would like to increase sales, you can filter them out. There is a card booster, post purchase discount, upselling bot for free shipping and so on. Select the template, for example, upselling bot, free shipping. There is a test it out button, press on it and you'll see how does it work. If the visitor arrives on your site, there is a text. What happens if no? Nothing happens. What happens if you press sure? There is explanation that free shipping will be offered. So, let's use this template. And now you'll see the canvas here. This is a trigger. There is, this is an action. And you can set up the conditions. Those are also here. If you would like to add triggers, then press on it. And you'll see there are 18 triggers you can use. There are much, much more to it. I scratch only the surface here because there are a lot of things you can do with it. You can even see the analytics, conversations, and so far and so forth. And this way you can use all sorts of templates. There is a template basically for every case here. Lead magnets, news and updates, product recommendation, and so on. But if this is not enough and you would like to create your own user case and click on this add from scratch button, choose your trigger, for example, first visit on site, choose your action, set conditions, activate, test it, and you're good to go. Once again, I have made a thorough tutorial about how to use it. So I'm going to skip this part here and I'm going to go back to the chatbots menu here. What else you can see? Under the customer questions, you'll see all the questions they have asked and this way you can tweak your chatbot to answer even better now if i go to the inbox you'll see all the chats i have here then take a look at this part canned responses down below here and chatbots also here let's take a look at the canned responses this allows you to save most common answers you have to otherwise type every day for example if someone asks about shipping and the answer is basically the same all the time, then you can just choose one of the answers or create a new response here. Just add your answer, add your tag, for example, info, save. And next time you were in the middle of the chat and you would like to use a canned response, then just select this one, reply and done. Now let's take a look at the chatbots. This is the one I showed you earlier. Since I didn't create any chatbots, I can add it here. Let's activate it just for the sake of the example. And now if I open it up, I can add it here. Easy peasy. You can also use AI for your own answers. For example, if I add something here, what is your order number? And now there is a reply assistant AI here. If I click on it, then it will improve my text. I can press the button and done. Let's try it one more time with what is your order number? There is also a keyboard shortcut here, but I'm going to press on the button and the answer is much better. Just reply and done. Now, if you find this video helpful, then don't forget to squeeze that like button down below here. And next, I'm going to suggest you to take a look at the video you see on the screen right now. In it, I'm going to show you how to create a TDO account and how to set it up. Meanwhile, take care.